What's up, Los Angeles Comic Con? Um, check. Are there any Power Rangers fans here? Yeah. All right, that's what I want to hear. I'm going to introduce the cast that started it all now. Please make them feel welcome. First, we have the Black Ranger, Walter Jones. Anybody else hear this? Hold on. What is this? You can't. You fixed it. A few minutes ago, I was doing this. I was like, I heard it. In, in my, That's in your mind. In my mind. Shh, don't let them know. <laughs> so, would you come back as Bulk? Well, I mean, whatever character you want. <laughs> Is he actually Bulk, or is no. he like a different character? You're gonna love this. Well, he's, he's the new Yellow Ranger. Still, but he's still Bulk, the Yellow no, Ranger. No, he's no, 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 he, he plays a different character. Oh, he plays a different character. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Nice. I think, I think Aaron, Aaron, does anybody, does okay. anybody here use sign language? Because I just want to pay respects right now to this woman. I know, woman get it. Girl. Tracking like five <laughs> conversations at once. I was very impressed. And I was also feeling very sympathetic. We'll try not to talk all at the same time. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's, it's a, there's a new show. Is it a, is it a TV show? Is it's it on, a, it's on actually Twitch. a role-playing game on Twitch. On, on really? Twitch. Yeah. It's a role-playing game. I so see. there's people role-playing as the Blue Ranger, the Black Ranger, the Pink Ranger, the Yellow Ranger. Is this another porn thing? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, Peter Adrian, uh, I'm Peter just checking. Arso, Yoshi Sadar. We bought, you hear all the laughter. I'm Aaron just saying. I saw pictures of that, like this week, people were posting pictures, but I didn't know what that was, so thank you. It's awesome. Very awesome. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I'm going back as uh, Rita. I'm going to be Rita. <laughs> I just don't, I won't have a headache. Still. I know who you're about to I'm, say. Yeah, I know who you're saying. No, 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 I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go back as the new Rita. 
Because she was hot. Oh, um, he, you know what? The new reader, though, took Scorpina's place. Because you always used to be like, oh, Scorpina's hot. I would hot. go back. So now you're like, I would go back to Scorpina, too, just, just so I could take my time dressing myself every day. Wow. I'd love to see you in that outfit, by the way. <laughs> This is rapidly turning into after. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. I mean, I have questions, but I like this too. Um, did you think going into that first audition? I know it wasn't um, an open call, except I think the story is Walter had representation that got him through a little bit later. Did you think it would be this big of a lasting hit? I mean, it's it's still going on. People clearly still love this. Well, I knew that once David Yost was associated with the project, that it was... <laughs> we, we agree. It was, it was all a lost cause, and they brought on Dave, Dave and he, um, he elevated us. He elevated us to, uh, to global fame. Round of applause for Mr. Yost. That's because nerds, nerds rule. <laughs> the first Power Ranger I ever met because he came to meet us. We got the jobs and he came up to the studio and met. he was the first one we met. So it was all about David. Always all about David. That's awesome. <laughs> no, I mean, I, to, to, to be serious though, I think none of us expected the show to be even close to being talked about five years later. I thought, okay, it's a kid's show. Kids will grow up and it'll be over. You know, they won't think about it anymore. And, uh, well, the kids grew up and they had kids and kids are still watching it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> 25 years. I'm like, wow, we got 25 years next year, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Do we, do we all have to be serious? Or was that just you? Was it a momentary thing? Because I really hate being serious. I'd, I'd rather be silly. Because it's... Are I was talking born that way. Are you talking to me? Uh, did, you hear, did you hear... Are you talking to me? Like, Scarface just arrived. Like, what happened here? The best looking Scarface I ever met, but... That was I'm a just challenge. Saying. That was a challenge. I think she... Okay, I'll be serious. That was definitely no, no, a challenge. No, no, no. This is your show. You do it the way you want to do it. It's your show, man. Are you going to do the dance? Do the dance. I mean, I had heard that Walter was thinking about dancing. As did okay. she, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I do that on occasions. Dancing. I'm trying to get her Dance with the Stars. I want y'all to help me. Dance with the Stars. So, <laughs> guys, hit me up on, on Instagram, on Twitter. Hashtag Walter Jones, Dancing with the Stars. Do it. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. Let's make that happen. Yeah. How did you become a Power Ranger? I don't mean like how did you get through the audition, but what did you have in your mind? when you first heard of this thing, you know, what, what, did, what did you think you needed to be? What? Oh, yeah. Uh, just, just listen to well, I mean, I mean, for me, uh, we didn't even really know that we were getting into a superhero show so much. It wasn't uh, really explained to us very well. We just thought we were gonna be playing normal characters, like actors, right? No, we knew it was superheroes, but we didn't know what it entailed. <laughs> so, I mean, when we showed up to film the original pilot, it's like, then it started coming together. Like, we really didn't have an idea going into it. Uh, we were at a bowling alley, I think, our first day of filming. Which was crazy. Kind of like goofballs, and uh, just having a good time. But then, like, when we finished towards the very end of the filming of the pilot is when we actually got to put on our ranger suits. And then they started explaining our dinosaurs and all that kind of stuff. And even when we were shooting, and they were explaining the dinosaurs, they'd be like, okay, freeze, because now your face is gonna morph into, into a dinosaur. dinosaur. <laughs> and we'd be like, okay. Like, and so we'd freeze, and we didn't understand any of that until we actually got to see the edited version. And then for me, I can only speak for me, then I understood, oh, I gotta take this a lot more serious now. Like, I'm a superhero, like, uh, you know. So, and thankfully, a lot changed from the original pilot that we filmed to when it went to series. So uh, the name changed, Zordon, instead of Zoltar, it was Zordon. So Dino Rangers instead of Power Rangers. So a lot of, a lot of things changed. So going into it for me, I didn't really understand it. Uh, but as we were filming, it started evolving. And then when we got to series, then I said, oh, okay, this is a big deal. Did any of you guys see the pilot? Did you guys see the pilot? The unaired pilot? Yeah, the unaired pilot. Well, we, we aired it. We did the uh, last episode. Austin and I hosted that. Yeah. They aired it. But um, 
it wasn't it weird when we when they like they talked about us and it went from our teenage space to the dinosaur like stretch. <laughs> That was like, that was weird. It's like Zach, you have the power of oh, this. That's your voice. And Zach, you have the power of the mask. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, talking about as as a teenager, I was I was very young on the show, and they're stretching my face into a dinosaur. I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> like insecurities as a young man went. And they were strange looking dinosaurs. Like I remember yours was like greenish face. Yeah. Like, uh, I had like I went. I had this. Enormous nose and yeah. big, funky teeth. It's, it's not like, that. It's not that different. But um, <laughs> yeah, well, well, it was probably Zolt an improvement, honestly. Zoltar yeah. looked like a big glob of gooey jello. So I mean, gooey <laughs> jello. <laughs> but he made gel famous. <laughs> Just saying. Luckily, by the time I got on the show, they got it together, and it was like, you know. <laughs> Here's a little note. All the, all the mistakes were made. <laughs> We made many. Most of them I made, because Dave, Dave was perfect. But uh, he taught me how to not make as many mistakes. I just refused to learn. So the show, when the pilot, when they advertised in LA, it was actually advertised in the paper as a show called Phantoms. Did you guys know that? For the audition. Did we say that? <laughs> okay, I was like, did I miss that? Yeah, the audition. I was, I've been here with myself all day. I just don't feel like it. So anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, do you guys know the original name for the character Jason? It was like something straight Pop out of quiz. Days of Our Lives. Pop quiz. Anybody? Nobody. Oh wait, we got one back there. Oh, you know, because you like are around all the time. Victor. <laughs> like, could you imagine? Instead Victor. of Jason, it would have been Victor. <laughs> I like the name Victor. Victor. Yeah. No, I, mean, I like My name is Victor, and it's morphing time. <laughs> It is uh, time for the morphine. That would you know, like it could have been a whole other thing. I could have had fun with that. <laughs> my name is Victor. I will get my Tyrannosaurus and kick your butt. Right, and you could have like, when you slapped a putty, like did it all like telenovela style. Like slap and be like, you slap with my mother. Instead of really bad Japanese voiceover, I will kick your butt. It could have been like in Victor style. I am here to kick your butt. That would have been good. You know what I mean? I could have, I'm gonna have fun with that all day. <laughs> nice to meet you. I am Victor. I am Victor Jason. Are you talking to me? <laughs> okay. I am not Jason, I am Jason. <laughs> Ticket waiters be here every week. <laughs> well, Karen in particular, you joined. Uh, Karen. She's talking to you, Karen. Yeah. So you joined when the show was already a yeah. massive hit. What was that like coming into this already established world? We I, we won the golden ticket. I mean, I, it, the crazy thing is, I was in high school, and so I had just graduated high school. But yeah, I mean, everybody was like, "Oh, you got an audition for the show? It's called Power Rangers." And I didn't know only because I was too busy trying to graduate high school and taking, you know, trying to get into college. So, um, but yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. We won the golden ticket. It was like. It was cool because, like I said, the show had kind of already gone through so many different phases. So by that time, it was a well-oiled machine. And when we came on, you know, they basically just were like, you know, we just want you guys to be yourself. And we knew these guys were hugely popular. So we didn't want to try to be like them. We didn't want to try to take their place because there's no doing that. <laughs> I wish it could have worked together. It would have been so much fun. If, if Hopefully one day they'll get all nine of us together and we can play. I mean, it's possible. Ask her about the order. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to do that. We're trying exactly. to do that. But yeah, that's why the order kind of came about, just because we wanted to work together. I mean, literally, we've never been on set, and we thought, I thought, what a cool thing we could do together, but I didn't want it to be Power Rangers. There's no replacing that. So it's not like we could redo Power Rangers. It's too iconic, it's too awesome. And plus, they're, re they're redoing it themselves. So we came up with the order, David and I, and we just wanted it to be really cool, a lot of action, the things that you like, all of us together. And the cool thing is you don't know who's good and who's bad, and the people that you would think are good guys, or not, so... Yeah. We, wanted, we wanted to give these guys a, a chance to stretch, to show them, uh, show you guys a different side of them. So. Yes. Are you guys familiar with The Order? 
the, the film yes, that, that yes, we're putting together, yes. written by David and Karen, produced by Miss Ashley, and uh, 18 epic rangers, and then the best one of all joined because he's perfect, Mr. Yost, yeah. <laughs> and he made the film what it's going to be. <laughs> It's just gonna be cool. I mean, it's gonna be modern day, it's gonna be gritty, it's gonna be, it's definitely not, you know, what we love with Power Rangers, the rated G and extra cheese. It's gonna be violent, <laughs> but it'll be Leather, fun. Leather, guns, bullets, and swords. Yes, yes. That sounds awesome. Where can people go if they wanna read more or like? You can go to, yeah, www.the-order-movie.com. So check it out. That's awesome. Um, David Fielding. Yes. There's two Davids. Um, so these guys, they get recognized a lot as being the Rangers. Do you get recognized for being Zordon? Uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, yeah, you do. There, there, there have been uh, a few isolated incidents where I'm, I'm walking through a grocery store and somebody will be like, oh my god, it's Zordon. Uh, but um, most of the time, I'm, it's very unassuming. Most people don't know who I am. So it. It's kind of nice in that way. I can kind of scoot through. Eyes. He would have to kill you if you do. <laughs> How many of you wear uh, glasses? <laughs> None of you are wearing glasses like his. Tell him about your glasses, dude. Wow, it's pretty epic. It actually, uh, the, it, it actually says Zordon on the side. Oh. Because he sees the world in a whole other way. <laughs> I'm actually evaluating every single one of you. Right? <laughs> well, this year we saw a reboot in movie form. A lot of your characters kind of came back. What was that like? Can you compare your characters to the reinterpretations? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I really, uh, when they announced that Brian Cranston was going to play uh, the role of Zordon, I thought, wow, that's, that's really great that they, they were going to treat it with that kind of seriousness and weight because Brian has, uh, he's a, he's a well-respected actor, so I thought that was a good choice. Um, I, I also, when, when I was watching the film, it was very strange to be sitting there listening and hearing the name Zordon over and over and <laughs> nobody looking at me, so I mean, uh, uh, I mean, I... I I like the fact that Zordon was kind of a, a, a jerk uh, in, at the beginning of it, but then he redeems himself through, through what happens with Billy, so I thought that was great. Uh, the fact that they made him a little bit more dynamic, being able to move over the, across the wall, I thought was really great, so I, I really liked what they did with it. So. I see you. <laughs> I see you. Oh. That's awesome. Ooh. Are you guys dating now? Is there a relationship that I don't know about? I'm just... <laughs> They we, got a baby. We, they got a baby. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I had a baby Rita, with Rita. Rita. Rita and Jason. When Wilson. did this storyline happen? The things have changed where I came That's from. Is this in the next movie? It's in the telenovela version. I'm producing, wait, 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 wait. That. I'm producing that in 2018. I like how the baby's in the dragon. Dave says the baby buggy's the dragon's orb. Yeah. It does. I am shocked. I did not know I would do that. Now the new Rita in the movie, absolute possibility. Victor and, and twice Rita. on Sunday. Victor and Rita did the grown up. Just saying. <laughs> oh, that's fan fiction kind of life. <laughs> you know, I feel like we keep going off topic, right? Like, let me it's let me him. bring this all back it's here. Him. Yes. Yeah. Something's wrong with him today. Austin, Austin, uh, had fun. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's him. Austin had a lot of fun last night. <laughs> he's Austin, he's still, it's still, it's he's still flowing it through his, his which is veins. Great. Which is great. <laughs> it's still last night for Austin. Yeah, so. I think uh, I, w I, I loved what they did with the new movie. Nobody should boo at that. So I think they uh, did a really, really good job. I really like how they reinterpreted. I'll speak for myself, my character. I thought RJ killed it as Billy. Yeah. Um, he just really is such a talented actor and I couldn't have been more proud of what he did. And thankfully I got to know RJ before he was filming and while he was filming, like we'd go to lunch and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I just think he's such a good guy. So, and you know, I cried when Billy, I don't want to give away anything. 
if you haven't seen it. It's been a Billy kind of, yeah, I'll give it away. So when Billy dies, like I, I was crying and all that. Yeah, he Spoiler dies. Spoiler alert. And then Zordon, and then, and then Zordon gives up his power, you know, so Billy can come back to life. I just, oh my God, it was great. A few things could have been different, like the theme song should have been played longer. Yeah. Yeah. And, That's the part, I and they should have definitely said it's morphin' time. Yes. So, oh, you know, yes. Like, like this guy used to say. And I felt like I felt like Tom, if you're gonna bring Tommy and Kimberly back, they should have had a line. They, I felt like they should have had something. I felt like they should have had something bigger. They could more have, than three seconds at the end of the film. Yeah. Like I just was like, if you're gonna bring them back and they're gonna do a cameo, I want more. Right. Favorite part of the movie? It was way too violent for the '90s. But Jason straight up pimp slapped the bully in detention. Like, I was like, they wouldn't let me do that in the 90s. It was too violent. I really wanted to, though. That was good. That was a good part. Yeah, yeah, did anybody else notice that like the Zords were barely bigger than Krispy Kreme, the donut shop? Like, I felt robbed. When the Zords came out, I'm like, that's not my Zord. When the T-Rex rolled into Angel Grove, he was towering over skyscrapers, right? This dude was barely bigger than three-story Krispy Kreme. <laughs> and a mastodon had six legs. What? And straight horns. It was like, is that the triceratops or the mastodon? What happened? Like, somebody, I think they smoked the joint and then drew the Zords. They're like, let's redesign it. Let's give the mastodon some extra legs. That'd be funny. You know what I mean? And then when Goldar showed up, he looked epic, but where was his voice? Like, I Goldar would, was like, such a great character on the TV show. They yeah. Give it in. Something. What happened to him? I was rich. <laughs> yeah. But at the end of the day, I, I got to look at Rita. I would have been on the other team. If that had been my Rita, I'd have been like the evil Red Ranger. <laughs> I thought, uh, uh, I thought Ludi Lim did a great job as a black ranger. But what I was confused about, though, was uh, what was the hip-hop keto? Right? I mean, the character Zach from Mighty Morphin is the only character that ever had his own martial arts form. And it was, I mean, with it, it was a catalyst to a lot of people to grow as far as being a dancer, being a gymnast, being a trickster, being parkour. I mean, it, it opened up all these realms with people being um, more physical and, 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 and active in and, and that kind of way. So I thought they missed an opportunity by not making that part of the, the Zach character because I mean, it didn't matter if he was black or Asian or whatever, but Hip Hop Keto was definitely a, a real part of what that character was. You know, you remember in the, in the TV shows, like Hip Hop Keto and Jason with the martial arts and Billy, like we, we all had our jam, but we spent like 15 minutes of every episode fighting. Like you saw us doing our fights and our gymnastics and, and being the physical personas that, that our characters embodied. And when the movie came out, there was like five seconds of a, of a street fight. And then they were in the Zords, I was like, what happened? Underestimate. Jason should be fighting 15 putties on his own. And, you know, the other guy should be over there with all these putties and we should be wrecking it. And only at the last possible minute with another 500 show up, should we even think about, like, should we just do this old school or do we have to call it Zora? You know, like, that's how, that's how we did that. Exactly. And they were like, even when Jason did his morphing time, I didn't know he said it. I missed it the first time. I was like, he didn't say it's morphin' time. People were like, yes, he did. I had to go back, and it was like, it's morphin' time. I was like, I'm sorry, bless you, what? <laughs> did you sneeze? Was that, oh, it's, it's okay, they got medicine for that. You're all right. Yeah. And, and Beyonce as Aisha, I mean, she just, her performance in that new Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie was amazing. <laughs> yeah, you guys missed that. That's in the deleted scenes. Yeah, Beyonce was amazing. <laughs> she just said Beyonce got deleted. <laughs> Hashtag what? Right? <laughs> Maybe that's a sequel. Yeah, um, right? This squeak. This Austin, I'm curious, how do you say it's morphin' time? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Did I just get put on the spot? Yeah. See what happened was. 
She said it in such a seductive voice, too. So. Well, I'm not going to do that on a microphone because the sound guy is going to hate me. You guys going to do it with me? Yeah! Stand up. Stand up. Count it down. You can't, you can't say it's more than sitting on your butt. All right, now you got to take a moment. He's got two swords. Oh, but he's ready. Right. One wasn't good enough. He had to have two. Be careful. All right, now wait. Wait, wait. I have to capture this moment. <laughs> Get it for the gram. Get it for the gram. You gotta do it. No, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Are we gonna go live on Facebook? Is that what's about to happen? All right, All right we need some live Facebook. But you guys have got to get your It's Morphin' Time on with me. What are you tripping? Hi. So, all right, Miss Ashley. Now, you, yeah. gotta, you have to build the momentum. You gotta, you gotta get it. Are you feeling it? It's gotta start down around your toes. <laughs> and then it gets to the hips and it's like an Elvis thing for a minute. And then you gotta get angry. It starts coming up to the cord. You gotta build it. Are you feeling it? There's too many smiles. You're not feeling it. <laughs> I was not smiling when I said it's more for time. Come on. It's so serious. Are you with me? You're getting ready to, you're getting ready to take on Angel Grove. We're about to do it some more than time. Are you gonna do it? I wanna hear it. We have to shape not this building, but the 15 next door. All right, are we ready, LA? On three. Personality-wise, what would you say is the biggest difference between yourself and the character you play on the show? That's a good question. Biggest difference? Huh. Uh, I am not scared of spiders or snakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not smart. <laughs> uh, like Billy was. <laughs> I'm not cool. <laughs> Like Jason was. <laughs> I'm not. I am not bossy, like Aisha. That is such a lie. <laughs> well, not to not to to you, yes, but not to everyone else. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, I actually have a body. <laughs> Everybody's lives in this room. I became a martial artist because of you guys. Awesome. Um, what was your favorite? What is your the defining moment for you guys that you knew that this was it? That I'm proud to be a ranger because this happened to me. He said defining moment. Yeah. Like every day here with you guys yeah. is it one of those moments. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I left, I left the show, I left Hollywood for like 23 years. Walter called me up, I was on the Kuwaiti-Iraqi border overseas for the war. And he told me about this thing called a Comic-Con. I was like, comma what? <laughs> Wait, people are gathering, wearing costumes on a day that isn't Halloween? And he's like, all your fans grew up. I was like, no they did what? <laughs> and he talked me into meeting with his agent, and I said, all right, I'm gonna come back for one show. Let's see what this is like. Because I, I had a whole 16 year career in emergency medicine and tactical medicine and other stuff. And um, I thought, let me, see, let me see what one of these shows is like. And I came back and I got to meet you guys 
as adults with your families. And I got to see and be a part of all of the things that these guys were way ahead of me on. They, they had been traveling, they got to see you. They had heard your stories and Walter was telling me about it. He's like, you need to see this. And then I heard your stories myself and you guys have had me in tears. You guys have had me laughing. You've had me in emotional places. I would never have thought people I didn't know could take me. And then I realized that the show wasn't just famous in 40 countries and 90 languages. It was famous in the hearts and minds of children around the world. All generations. And that's when I fell back in love with the show again. So you guys brought me back to my passion and love for something that you can now express to me. And these guys, they were on top of it. They were ahead of me on this. And I'm so grateful they brought me back because every day is one of those defining moments with, with people like you. Thank you so much. Ditto. Uh, thank you guys for taking my question. Uh, my question is about the uh, reboot for the new Power Rangers movie. Uh, ever since the movie was first announced and then it premiered earlier this year, do you guys see a resurgence in your um, recognizability when you guys are walking around town or doing just normal things? Yeah, people see me all the time and go, Looting Man! <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, you know, I think this show, um, I think it was Netflix. Yeah. More than anything else, uh, Netflix uh, put all the, the, the whole thing of Rangers on again. So now, the kids of today, like your kids, are able to watch the show. A lot of people come up to me and go, yeah, my, my son watches your show. I, I didn't even know that he was watching the show. I just, you know, he likes the Power Rangers. And so I came in one day and he was watching you and I was like, Yo, you're watching my show, you know? Like, and it's like, it wasn't even me, I didn't even tell them to do it. It's like, they picked it out themselves. So I think a lot of kids started from the beginning or they watch Power Rangers on now, and then they go on to Netflix and they see it and they go, oh, it starts here. So let me start from the beginning. And then they fall in love with our season. So uh, I think that has been a component of, of you know, like yeah. bringing, making us more relevant. And, or, and, and then the new toys, the comic books, there's, so much more merchandise again, out of nowhere, 25 years ago, right. 25 years later. Um, and then the movie, I think that, the popularity of that is what helped them to build a new movie. So it wasn't the movie, it was, the movie is part of the process that started maybe with Netflix, I think. Yeah, and you know what, I think also to piggyback what he's saying, he's absolutely right, Netflix, like we literally went from doing like five shows a year to like doing 25, 30 shows a year. Like, Comic-Cons really started going, oh my gosh, Power Rangers are, are bankable, let's bring them to our shows. But also social media, like, it's the weirdest thing. Like, people know us now, like, they know our face. And like, I was at Ralph's the other day and I'm like trying to just get some groceries and a girl's like, oh my God, I can take a selfie. I follow you on Instagram. So it's like, social media, Netflix, all of that, like you said, built the popularity so that they got a, a new film and, and that's great for the franchise. Let me put this, let me put this in perspective. In the 90s when we were getting going, you guys remember when MySpace popped up? Oh, yeah. They're like, everybody's got to do MySpace. I was like, my what? <laughs> Whatever. Like, email was the coolest thing. We got email. I had a cell phone in my car. Like, it was in the center console. It still had a cord. But, like, there was a car with a phone. I was like, this is dope. If social media had been, like, Ben Diesel today, 101, 2 million followers on Facebook. But he's not famous in 40 countries and 90 languages. Yeah. So, it, don't listen to him. He's only perfect he's, when he's I don't give him famous. a microphone. So, if Power Rangers had been on Facebook, Instagram, and we had been there in our social media presence then, where would we be today? in social media, right? Like, that's what blows my mind. So, I agree, social media, Netflix, how many, hundreds of episodes? Like, all, like, how many casts? Mighty Morphin's had so many episodes. There's, there's hundreds of Rangers now. And you guys, and your children, and your parents are what keeps that alive. You're the reason this show keeps growing. You're the reason they made this movie. 25 years. You know what I'm saying? 
So you guys gotta give yourself a round of applause. and I live in Los Angeles, California. What up, Wes? So, I watched, our, I watched the show during the use of my childhood, and I always know that it holds a great place to my heart. So I wanted to ask if you, have, if you, if you can relive any memory or your greatest memory throughout the entire series, what would it be? This guy just said it was a great place for his heart. Does it get better than that? Like, we touched this man's heart and he had no fear. Put it on a mic in front of you guys. You, sir, are one of my greatest moments. Thank you for sharing that. That's awesome. Thank you. Respect. And I love the hat. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Oh, I love it even more now. <laughs> you gotta flex when you're wearing a Thor hat. Like, you mean like this? Thor hat. <laughs> what the heck is happening on this panel? Uh, Walter brought the gun show. What is happening? <laughs> That's my party trade. Just hold them strong. That's hilarious. David, now you, David. Now you, David. He's having a seizure. I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> He's like, I'm just saying, Zach, don't crack. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, guys. Hi, my name is Elmer, and I have two questions. One's for David. The other one's for the rest of the crew. Uh, David, how does it feel to have finally somebody represent the LGBT community in the new Power, the new Power Rangers movie? And the second question is, what's the best prank you guys have ever put on each other? I remember oh. reading a lot about that. <laughs> That's the after dark man. One time in man camp? One time in Ranger camp? In Ranger camp? How does it feel to have somebody represent the LGBT community? Uh, obviously that's awesome. I think uh, Saban Entertainment really took a big step forward when they did that with the character of Trini. Uh, I was really happy to see, I mean, I know the director says the character is gay or lesbian. I didn't really feel that from the film. I thought more so that she was somebody that was questioning her sexuality, which is sometimes what the Q stands for when you say LGBTQ. Some people think it's queer, some people think it's questioning, it's whatever you want it to be. But uh, So I thought that was really uh, impressive. For me as a gay person, obviously I like to see representation uh, of the community and um, I thought that was a good choice character-wise to have it be Trini. Uh, I think it's really intriguing. So if there's a sequel, uh, hopefully they'll expand that a little bit more. So that's cool. Uh, pranks, I'll let them talk about it. <laughs> you see how quick he passed that? <laughs> you see that? He's like, and I'm done. And so am I. I can recall, uh, <clears throat> we didn't play a lot of, well, I, I didn't play a lot of pranks on the set uh, with these guys. I mean, between, uh, there was, you know, <laughs> farting that happened. <laughs> a few? Farting happened, I remember Parties. that. Command Good center, the, the command center is our longest day, and people would fart and walk away, and it was like, oh, <laughs> Amy Joe? Because <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause I'm> <laughs> <laughs> she probably hates us. Uh, craft services is not our friend. Anyway, but uh, there was there was one time that we put a practical joke on Mr. Austin St. John, and uh, you know one time. Yes, well, we, we played a couple of them, but this one I think is pretty hysterical. Uh, me, uh, we lived in a house full of boys, and so um, um, you know Austin is uh, you know Austin was. Uh, you know, he was, he was the Red Ranger, so. And, and he was strong, and he was like, he had legs, and I'm like, rawr, and, and he was confident, you know, he's, he was agile and flexible and interesting. And so, we went golfing Where one time. Where are we time, going with this? And, uh, we went golfing, and, and Austin was kind of new to the sport, as, as were we all, but. I knew nothing about golf, he knew in my defense. He knew nothing about golf, but, you know, we, uh, we're out there, we're hitting balls, you know, like, 
doing our drives, and Austin, he's strong, he's got this driver, and he's trying to hit the ball, like, crazy, he's like, I missed it, ooh, cut the grass, right, he hits it again, ooh, I was getting so close, we're, we're, like, we're working with him, like, keep your back down, don't arch, whatever, he's, he's doing it, well, we set him up with a ball that was like, one of those things, wait, 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 so, I'm out with, I'm out with the Black Ranger, and stunt guys from the show. Right. So this this crew was like alpha male deep. Absolutely. All right. So when they're talking about the fact that I was confident, I was not alone. Not at all. Not at all. But we, we set him up with this exploding ball. So Austin sits down. He's concentrating. Take everything out. Time. He takes his club back. He swings. Wow, the ball explodes. And he's like, guys, you see what I did? <laughs> did you see that? I vaporized this thing. I think, yeah. And we lost our stuff. I'm just saying, we were like, we were like, he, he was in it. He was, he was gone. He was like, it was fun. So, That's all he needed. I was, I like, I felt like Arnold Schwarzenegger was a wimp after I did this, right? Five minutes? And I'm, I'm like, I'm so excited. And they're all laughing. We're all like, we're laying on the green, dying like. So at some point, my mind shifts from, I'm super cool to, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we just got a five minute warning and I know everybody's in line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like power, like fast, quick questions. See how many we can answer in five minutes. Like it's gonna, let's try to do it. So one question. Quick, one question only. One answer. Let's try because I just want to make sure we get everybody's questions, okay? Thank you guys. Speed, speed round. round, speed round. Go. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm yes, I'm going to try to make it quick. Um, if you guys had to choose a different Zord to have, what would it be? I would never change. Me either. None of us would change. We would yeah. never change. <laughs> it was too cool. Too cool, too iconic. I might do a Chihuahua. That was the same exact question I had. For real? So. <laughs> Let's go, Victor. Victor would, Victor would have... All right. Victor. Victor would have El Cacaroche. <laughs> Favorite... Okay, uh, question. Favorite dance move? I'll tell you mine. Go. <laughs> the dab. The dab? Favorite dance move, Walter? Moonwalk. I think my favorite dance move goes like this. Okay, so Walter, you're obviously the best dancer. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Who said? Who said? Who said? Who said? Hold up. I told you this guy everything. Those are fighting words. What? You speak the truth. David is the best dancer. Yeah. Yes, yes. There's an episode where Austin, you were dancing and stuff, and remember you were dancing in an episode? Yeah, you were dancing. I want to know, did Walter teach you those moves? Mostly. <laughs> that was that was the dance video that Walter did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, everything I ever learned about dancing was from Walter, but that was just martial arts in that video because it was his dance video. But he was grooving though. He was like, he was like, like get lost. <laughs> All right, speed All right, round. Cool, thanks. Good question. Three minutes. <laughs> Billy didn't make the Zords. Did, I thought Billy made, made the, the Zords. No, I, I think Zordon and Alpha made them together. Yep. So that they were made, they were made in the command center. How much magical power did that take? Quite a bit. <laughs> there you go. The ones from the movie were kind of like they were like it's almost like a excellent like a set, question. And they up. built it. It's like almost like a car, the way that they looked. And it wasn't magical. It was very technical. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Um, what I wanted to ask was, for you three, what was your take on the Justice League versus Power Rangers comic book series? Love it. Me and Superman are hanging out, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, and I stabbed Cyborg, so that was pretty cool. Remember when I said Rita was hot? I made the cover with Wonder Woman. Original. She was the original hot pick. Look, on a scale of 1 to 10, yes please. <laughs> Wonder Woman's the 11, like it's Wonder Woman's her own right, Are you on Donald Trump's shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I'm confused. So you got Donald Trump on your crotch and Superman on your chest. 
What are you saying? What is it? Top is gonna be huge, is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, Steve. My name is Leo. I'm originally from Russia. My question is this: Do you guys ever fight in your actual costumes? Like when you're in parliamentary costume, do you guys fight on the show? Or was that all fun, guys? Yes. It did. Okay. Okay. Sometimes. You can tell when I was Sometimes. in the suit because I went from skinny Asian man to <laughs> American. American man. <laughs> on, on all the episodes, you, there's always a, a, a scene where you guys One are sparring uh, with each other. If behind the scenes, did you guys ever really spar? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we practice together. These guys are always like, I mean, I, I don't know, but like, I'm sure your season. I was with like, the stunt guys, guys all the time. Playing. Like, especially in the very we beginning. Together. We were like, we were no, like, stuff too. The, the, the cast. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we worked together. We would, we, we had like 35 martial artists on set. You yeah. think there was a sparring? <laughs> I didn't know martial arts, so they, they all helped me like get better. And that's how you did it. You worked together. Right after Karate Kid. I'm, my name is Roberto, I'm from Italy. Yes. Yeah. I'm just, I am Another <laughs> special question, but just, I want to thank you, uh, all of you guys, for uh, your show, because uh, as a parent, it was very hard for me to, to find something that was uh, among all these rubbish that you can find now in the television. So then I ran to a shop, I bought all the DVDs, I mean, <laughs> of the, the, the first three seasons of uh, Mighty Morphin, and then I give to my children that are there now. So just thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Friendship, uh, respect to so all of these important things. Good parenting. Well, that is the reason why Power Rangers is going to celebrate 25 years next year, because you guys keep passing it on. So I'm just gonna make it quick. I just want to know if you guys are gonna be taking group pictures after this, the entire cast. Group pictures. All together. Yeah, photo ops later. Uh, photo ops. I don't know what time, but we can find out real quick. We do photo ops at the professional. Yeah, the professional photo ops. You can buy the group option, or you can come to our tables and we can do a group option at the table as well. Either way, we're going back to the tables probably in like what 20 minutes. We'd love to meet you. If we have not met you, if we have not shook your hand, if we have not been able to give you a hug or just hear your story, we would love to hear you, your story. We're signing autographs, we're taking pictures, but most of all, we'd love to meet you. And our, so. group, our group photo ops are at 1.55 p.m. So yes. Half hour. Sounds good. Love you Yay! guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello Rangers, um, my name is Daniel, I'm LA repping. Um, I just want to know who is your favorite villain and who did you perceive as the most threat? She's right back there. <laughs> Rita. Rita said Goldar. Yeah. Yeah. Big question. 